of the new series, Go Big or Go Home. So let's get started. All things are possible with belief. So believe, believe that you can actually succeed and actually achieve something great in life. And I don't mean to confuse you with wishful thinking and unwavering belief. Wishful thinking is like wishing something would just magically appear like a genie granting wishes. Poof! But unwavering belief needs much more than that. And unwavering belief is that you're not having any sort of doubt or disbelief, even a small amount, even in your subconscious mind, because that will lead to failure. So believe unwaveringly that you are will be able to succeed whatever you think that you should achieve. So believe. And anyways, think success. When you're believing, you have to think success. You have to think that you can succeed. You should never think about failure. And uh, speaking from personal experience, uh, thinking about um, when you're thinking that something bad will happen, uh, you won't, you won't think in your subconscious mind that something good will happen. But when you think that something good is going to happen, in your subconscious mind, there will be just a small amount of negative thought. So I know, friends, that it is difficult to overcome this negative thought uh, express. So we can do it together in this new series. So let's get going. Anyways, speaking of thinking of success, uh, another personal experience is that when I was doing my uh, fourth grade piano exam, I had this uh, piece called Calypso, which I found at first difficult. But I really loved the piece because it was really nice to hear. And also, the name really got me because Calypso is, by the way, the Titan da Titan's daughter of uh, the Titan Atlas, who is uh, like, holding the uh, sky. And uh, more mythology later, but for now, let's just stick to the series. Uh, anyways, I was playing that and I thought first it was difficult, but then I got the hang of it because I thought that I will be able to succeed. I thought with unwavering belief that I will be able to succeed. And guess what? I got the most amount of marks in that piece, for that particular piece, more than my other pieces. So this is a living proof that it belief can do magical things. So keep believing. Anyways, think, speaking of belief, think that you are better than you think you are. Think that you are much more capable than you think that you are because that is the first step that you should take when you are improving your self-confidence in order to, to uh, getting big, thinking bigger and achieving bigger. So think that you are better than you already are and that you will be able to achieve greater heights. And think big. Always never sell yourself short nor your dreams. Think that your dreams have no limits and that it, they're as big as the sky because the sky is limitless. So, um, uh, like uh, Dr. APJ Abdulkalam said, uh, I don't make sense sky, so it's like that. Uh, think that your dreams have no limits and that you can achieve great and limitless things. So, think big. Okay, anyways, now we are thinking about thinking big. Uh, we all know that in any journey, we will have some barricades. So, I don't mean the barricades that are kept in the road. I mean these mental barricades uh, called excuses. So, we all know about excuses because... We have literally used lots of excuses in our lives, I'm pretty sure, either in our workplace or in our, at our school, probably, and uh, in our life. Technically, you might be saying that our workplace and school is technically in our life, but uh, you know what I mean, right? When I'm speaking about the life journey, which is, um, you know, that path towards success. In that path, also, we have some things called excuses. I will tell you what are those excuses. For example, one of them is this health excuse. Uh, some people might not have illness, but they will think that they are having, and that in itself is an illness. It is a mental illness which needs psychological attention, which is nothing but 
don't think about it just don't think that you are ill or you are not feeling well because lots of people are achieving great things even though they are seriously ill so think and be also be grateful that you're having such a great and amazing body that god has gifted you and think that you are great think that you are better and then keep moving on in life because that's what we are for right yes anyways don't think about it and don't talk about it and think good about it think good about health another excuse is i don't have that much iq i don't have much brains well guess what people that doesn't matter all that matters is your attitude your attitude is what that matters your attitude towards life your attitude towards success is that's what matters actually and uh, this attitude uh, is is mainly about that uh, ability to stick to something that you take like for example if you're taking for example in my case if i'm taking piano i have been sticking to it uh, till 6th grade so now i'm in 6th grade so till then i'm sticking to it and i i know that i will be able to stick to it till 8th grade i will complete it successfully because i'm creating that sort of positive energy around me so that i will be able to do it so that is what matters so it doesn't matter if you, even if you're not smart and guess what you are actually smarter than you think you are because I, as i told you before you are better than you think you are you might be thinking that i'm not that much smart or brilliant but actually you are the ability to think is all that matters in life that ability to have an attitude of thinking and solving that is what matters so never fear for that and another one excuse a very famous excuse i'm too old i'm too young guess what that also doesn't matter because when you're too old you might be thinking that you're too old speaking of uh, that kind of thing you know einstein's theory of relativity is equal to mc square and similar to that uh now let's say that you are 50 and uh, you're saying that i'm too old to start uh, for example a new business guess what a 90 year old person you, you can, they will be thinking that that is like too young i mean that is young so you, you are you are still energetic you can start a business so that kind of a thinking you can think relatively if you're too young you can think oh, oh that if you know this young this uh, youth is what everyone is always talking about because that is always energetic and we are of course energetic and enthusiastic so that is what matters so anyways this too old or too young excuse can also go in the trash so bye bye too old too young excuse and uh, another famous excuse is luck most people say i'm unlucky what should i do there's nothing you can do about it but guess what there is something you can do about it because being lucky also does not matter as i told you before all that matters is your attitude and you if you think that you can do it no one else can stop you you are unstoppable that song by sia sing it to yourself every day if you want so get that positive energy kicking in and start your way and path to success um and speaking of all of these excuses what is actually causing them you know what is causing them fear and as franklin d Roosevelt said the only thing to fear is fear itself so what else do you have to fear one thing to fear is fear itself well guess what you have lots of types of fear so you, know, you have lots of things to fear wrong the only thing to fear is fear itself so destroy that single fear how to do that mother knife no with an axe no ah with positive memories and there is like this uh, kind of steps that i want to tell you first of all determine your fear see what is that mental monster and first determine what that mental monster monster is and then afterwards target it and destroy it how do we destroy it by taking action how do we take action think positively when you think positively that mental monster will just destroy just it will get destroyed and then you will be uh, on your way to your path of success so never think negatively because a mental monster can be created out of anything and it will grow bigger if left unattended so 
Till I eat help, you can you know, just make up your mind to determine your mental monster and then destroy it because that will give you self-confidence. Now, for example, I will tell you about one of those uh, main things that most people fear about. Let's say you fear about people. You're scared of people uh, um, because you say that, okay, they're a bit rude to me or scary to me. Just first think, they're also human beings just like you are, so there's nothing to fear. So their human beings have that kind of an understanding attitude or that they are that, that balancing uh, nature, that balancing idea that they're also humans. Another thing, if someone speaks rude to you or you know, they act scary to you, even though you're an adult, you feel that you're scared by them because they're rude, think that you're actually doing them a favor being quietly and being patiently listening to them because they might be angry for something else and you are their mentor. So have an understanding attitude and be a patient listener to them. So you are the big guy there. So, you know, have a crown. Yeah, let's go, queen. Okay. Anyway. So have that kind of a positive attitude to anything you get. Okay. One more thing. One more thing that I want to say is that we all need self-confidence, right? For for main thing to destroy fear is obviously self-confidence. I've been telling that from the first. Self-confidence. How do you get that? Let's say there's a few ways that we can make, you know, that create this self-confidence. First of all, be a front seater. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Front seater? Wow, that's a bit too much. It's not too much. Being a front seater has so many benefits. First of all, you get lots of good view. You know, when you're sitting in the back, lots of people are there in the front. You can't see. So front seat, really good view. Anyways, uh, you can also have this kind of benefits like you will be under, uh, you won't be under surveillance. You will be under the, you will also won't be under the watchful eye of that person who's speaking or whatever. You will be under the caring nature of them and they will actually think about talking to you about some new tips or new benefits that you might achieve which you might have not got if you had sitting in the back. So guess what? You appreciate yourself on sitting in the front because you're getting new benefits. And have eye contact with the person who's speaking or you know, anyone at all, even when you're in class, have eye contact with the teacher because she will give you new tips on how to score full marks in your exam. So let's get going. And uh, have eye contact and always, always smile big. You might think that, okay, my smile is not that attractive, but it's all right. All you need is that warm, enthusiastic, energetic smile to get you going. So I hope you guys have learned so much from this because it's just so easy to be energetic and enthusiastic. We will see more in the next few videos, but for now, have that energetic thing, uh, energetic uh, feeling inside you, kicking in and boosting up all yourself. And always think that you are great just as you are and you can improve more even though you are really great. So that's it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed this video and are eagerly waiting for more. They will be coming soon. So um, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like, share and comment on what more videos do you want. And anyways, that's it for this video. See you in the next few videos. Bye. This is Ashwarya signing off from Trinitalentia.